Hey everyone, what's the crack? Lawrence here with the Fanatec CSL Elite V2 pedals being released today, 299 euro. They look like exceptional value. Let's get them unboxed on the rig. Let's do this. Right, so I'm very excited about these pedals because at 300 euro, that's exactly the price point that most people are like, I have 300 euro to spend on pedals, what should I buy? And I'm hoping that this is what people want to buy. Uh, I use the CSL Elite, I use the CSL Elite load cell. I never reviewed them in the same way as I review my regular hardware. This is the first time Fanatec have sent me a product, so thank you very much Fanatec. I'm really excited to see how these stack up against the V3s and other pedals, especially in this price bracket. Let's get it unboxed. Right, let's get around to this side. Got these little tabs around the side. It's a pretty big box. I think, um, if memory serves me correctly, they come completely pre-assembled. So, here we go, third flip. Uh, after the third flip, I lost control. <laughs> I like it. I like it, I like it. Okay, this is cool, uh, cool packaging. This looks like a, uh, I don't know, somewhat sustainable material. So that's good, no foam in here and stuff. The whole thing, I'd say, comes out in one go. Hopefully we can manage this. Shake that box off. Maybe put it on its side and do it that way. Let's put the box off to the side. Okay, so these side pieces come off. These are pretty rigid. And I don't know what material that is, but it does look like a, a paper-based material. So that's good to see. It's definitely, um, definitely a bit more sustainable than uh, plastics and that. Let's have a quick look in this kit first. There we go. Okay, so we've got the Elite V2 little guide in here. I like the way it's slotted into the top of this as well. The manual looks pretty straightforward. It looks pretty clear actually, to be honest. Um, and it's got nice, uh, it's got information about the shore of the elastomers. All pretty technical stuff, but nicely illustrated. So that's cool. This is just our uh, cables. So this is our one for the wheelbase and a USB cable. It's got little ferrite cores on there as well. Uh, and here we've got a little tool set. Again, in one of those iconic Fanatec bags. So, some Allen keys. And a nice little spanner as well. Now. So that's cool. So if you remember with the V3 pedals, you have to buy a separate set, the performance kit. With this, you get a lot of this for free. Uh, so these come out like that pretty simple a spare spring here as well uh, but we're going to try it today in its default configuration so the materials on here are actually really nice it, it, it definitely the weight of it feels like metal but i'm not actually sure if that is metal yeah it is metal it sounds like metal but it doesn't look like metal the finish is really cool it's almost like um and i don't know if it translates to the camera here but it's almost like a uh, crushed carbon effect, um, but it seems to be uh, metal. I'll have to look up what the actual material of that is, uh, but uh, nice looking pedal sets. There are like rubber uh, casings on these pedals. So that's similar to the old pe uh, pedal set. Um, got a little rubber strip here, which is interesting. It's got kind of like, it's interesting. It's a little bit loose on there, but it's probably, uh, I'd say that's quite comfortable for your heel and stuff. Uh, coming around to the back here, looks like each one of these is movable. Yeah, if we look underneath, this is actually where a lot of the magic is here. You can change the spacing by changing these and taking out these guys here. So that's very cool and very clever. Uh, this little control box could be taken off. You could, of course, individually mount these if you wanted without the heel plate, but most people will definitely keep this heel plate on it. It conceals the electronics nicely. Uh, and you've got a little slot for the handbrake here as well, like you do on uh, some other pedal sets. There are little rubber feet on the bottom as well. So if you are using this on uh, a normal floor, it shouldn't move too far. Let's put that to the test. Yeah, not moving too much there at all. Um, no movement. Got little 
holes here. Um, I'd say that again is maybe for other uh, mounting options. I'll have to explore that further. Oh yeah, it's for uh, getting your Allen key in so that you can actually tighten the bolt at the bottom. So that's clever as well. Uh, you don't have to reach in from the side. Even though there is access, uh, you don't have to reach in from the side to do that fastening. Um, the pedal faces all look pretty good. The clutch, yeah, feels fine. Feels okay, there's no real simulated bite point or anything like that. Throttle, throttle has a nice, it's not an, not an instant, it, it, it feels slightly dampened. Uh, there's no damper on it, of course. Uh, but it, it actually feels like you'd be able to modulate that quite nicely. So the weight of that throttle right now, just from memory of touching throttles on other pedal sets, uh, is nice. For example, you guys would have seen me uh, review the Invicta pedal set. Uh, that's a very, very high-end pedal set. This throttle is actually heavier. So that's worth noting. Uh, it looks like they, it looks like Fanatec are listening to what the market is saying. Uh, as for the brake, I mean, geez, I, I remember taking a set of V3s out of the box and I remember just being able to press the brake uh, down quite far with my hand. This is, that's going nowhere. Um, I'm very, very surprised. That, and do you know what? It's funny actually that it has three elastomers and a spring because this is a similar configuration to what I ended up with uh, with another pedal set that I'm reviewing here. I'll just show you very quickly. So very, very briefly, I actually ended up with this uh, elastomer setup with a spring here as well. It's quite nice for GT style driving. So uh, that'll be interesting to see and compare. Now that pedal set that I showed you there was a hell of a lot more expensive than this pedal set. 300 euro seems to be a, a crazy good price. Um, and my first impressions of these are like, from a, from a visual point of view, you know, if someone told me that these are the new V3s, it, it, I, the, the pedal faces really give away the fact that these are the CSL Elite pedals. If this had the um, V3 pedal faces, I would be convinced that, that these are, you know, a, a, an upgrade for the V3. They really, they really look nice. Now, I haven't had them on the rig yet or anything like that. I love this adjustability. Um, I love that you can take the pedals off individually and all that. So I think the best thing to do is get them on the rig, try them out for the first time. So here we are in the rig, uh, and the very first thing I notice, uh, is, uh, distance is pretty much always where I mount pedals. First thing I notice is that the pedals are angled away from you a little bit. So actually, I actually feel like I'm reaching a little bit. So I can tilt the pedal plate. Um, I mean, I'll, I'll be able to make do the way they are, but when the pedals are more at 90 degrees, uh, it kind of makes it easier on a, even in a, I'm in a relatively GT, um, position here yeah those pedals are they're a little bit of a reach and if you see um the pedal faces are a little bit low as well so uh, they're just two initial impressions of it uh, and if i want to go like that you see my heel if i if i want this is where i want my contact patch usually on the th on the throttle um and if i want that to be my contact patch yeah you can see my heel is actually just dragging along the base plate which is not ideal so i'd be raising those clutch feels very light the throttle feels good i'm very happy with the throttle um for this price point especially uh, i would like it a little bit heavier it feels a little bit like it's you know it doesn't feel like it's just a cheap spring that's going it feels like there's a little bit of like i can move my fat my foot faster than the spring uh which is which is good which is nice you want that throttle to be nice and controllable you don't want it to be you know, jumping all over the place. And the brake feels good, guys. I mean, it, it clearly, it, it feels like, when you come from high end, like I've got a lot of these pedal sets and 
you know, thousand euro pedal sets and all that. And a lot of those brakes can be very hard. I like a very stiff brake. And sometimes when you go to a lower end set, it just feels like there's nothing there. It feels like there's loads here. I can feel the elastomers. I can actually, I wouldn't notice without looking at the pedals themselves that there's a spring in there as well. I, it's not like I feel a spring and then elastomers. Um, so we'll see how that goes when we're actually driving though. But first impressions, pretty cool. The throttle, yeah, the, the clutch is super light. But the brake and the throttle, 300 euro. I mean, I haven't used them yet. So let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's jump in game and uh, see how they perform. All right, so the first thing that I'm noticing is that the throttle um, seems to extend beyond where it goes to 100%. I always use Content Manager to register this. I'm not using the Fanatec software. It's just very easy across all pedal sets to kind of get a, a blank canvas of uh, how they're registering input. So I have a little bit of uh, travel left, as you can see, and it's not actually making a difference to the input. So that's interesting. The brake feels amazing. <laughs> like That's exactly how I want to brake to feel, especially at this price range. Like, yeah, other than the pedal angle, like I said, that's, that's damn nice. So very, very positive about that. Yeah, and the clutch then is, is super light. Feels budget. Um, but not everybody uses a clutch. And when you do, kind of just smash it and, and let it go. It's not a very easy clutch to modulate. There's no simulated bite point or anything like that. But that's fine, I think. Uh, throttle and brake are the important ones. The throttle has a nice weight and the brake is surprisingly good. All right, I haven't even used it yet. So I, again, let's not get ahead of myself. So the mounting points on the pedals were actually really nice and they take a nice big thick M8 bolt, which is really good. Uh, the brake was a little bit difficult because the uh, you've got the elastomer stack. Uh, so getting bolts in underneath that is quite difficult. It's totally doable. And make sure before you attach it to a solid plate, make sure you have that USB cable plugged in I found that out the hard way and I had to kind of wriggle it in there afterwards and that was a bit uh, a bit difficult. Uh, the throw doesn't seem to be adjustable. I could be wrong on that so correct me in the comments if I'm wrong. Um, and the angle of the pedals as I say is not adjustable. So uh, let's get in here and have a quick drive of this thing. Right. So I'm going to need to modulate the throttle quite a lot here. Get rid of some of these on-screen apps. There we go. Just playing around with it there. Yeah, being able to find that point where... Being able to find the point at which the car wants to snap. Lads, I... 300 euro. Hang on a second. Uh, this is 299 euro, 299 dollars. Um, jeez. I'm like, I have a million things going on in my head right now. Uh, there are so many pedal sets that I've used. Um, none in this price range, I think that have given me a break feel like this. This is a great, this is a, like, this is a great brake pedal, guys. This throttle and brake, it's the perfect, for if you're somebody who wants a stiffer pedal, like, I think this is significant, right? If you're someone who wants a stiffer pedal and uh, you don't want something that's rock hard, this is the exact feel that I try to help people get. What I'm feeling right now is the exact feel. And what's difficult with a lot of other pedal sets, this thing locks up like nobody's business and I was able to just intuitively not have it lock up there. That's amazing. Um, one of the difficult things with a lot of pedal sets is people message me afterwards when I say, oh yeah, it's, it's a good pedal set. And they're like, well, how do I adjust it to get that magic that you had with that pedal set? And loads of pedal sets are super adjustable and uh, it's easy to achieve that magic. 
but this has it out of the box and this is a 300 euro pedal set i genuinely genuinely think this is potentially i this is a i think it's a potential game changer guys like i'm not excited about pedal reviews anymore because i have pedal reviews coming up my arse i have so many pedal reviews and they're complicated and getting the confidence in them i have to do so much experimentation to get a good you know uh, a good feel or the feel that i want and and explore all the various different feels that are possible with a pedal set but when it feels like this out of the box honestly if this wasn't an adjustable pedal set i would still be pretty blown away for 300 euro the fact that this is adjustable and you get the elastomers with it for the 300 euro I'm a little bit, I'm a little bit, um, yeah, lost for words. It doesn't often happen, especially in a first impressions video like this. I kind of think out loud. I'm trying to, like, I was already, so when I took them out of the box, I knew that they were, they, there was something, you know, I, I was like, I was thinking about the material and stuff like that. What is it? What it actually turns out to be is a cast and machined aluminium. So they're nice and light. That's why I thought it was like a, almost a plasticky design. But then when I tapped on it, it sounded like a metal. Um, so they're aluminium cast and machined. And the finish, I'd say it didn't even pick it up on camera. The finish is beautiful on them. The adjustability, I mean, I'm sold. I'm 100% sold. If somebody comes, if like, if somebody says to me, I have 300 quid to spend, and I want a pedal set. With this you get a base plate, you get all three pedals, you get a fantastic brake. That brake is brilliant. It's so good, like, I don't know. I don't know, I wasn't expecting it to be this good. Maybe my expectations were somewhat, you know, um, similar to what the, um, the old, like the, C the CSL Elite with Load Cell was a good set of pedals. Don't get me wrong, I like them. I never reviewed them in this capacity. Having this set on my rig where I've had, you know, hydraulic pedals, you know, thousand euro set of pedals, um, and I've had so many different sets. This is one of the cheapest sets I've ever had on here. Like you get all those elastomers as well. All that adjustability. This is so easy to drive. The angle of those pedals, that's my only gripe, and the throw. I'd like to be able to adjust that throw. I'm i am not 100% sure that I can't, as I'm not locking up at all here. It's crazy. Let's see how... It's... <laughs> I, uh, I'm sold. Let's just end the video. I, I'm, I'm absolutely sold. I'm genuinely hand on heart. Everybody knows I'm not a Fanatec fanboy. If I was a Fanatec fanboy, I would definitely, you know, have been reviewing lots of these products before. Um, I, I, I have felt for a long time that Fanatec need to up their game. These Fanatec CSL Elite V2 pedals are, dare I say it, they're as good. In my opinion, I don't have them side by side here. In my opinion, they're as good as the V3s with the performance kit. Dare I say they're better because you don't have to figure them at all. You don't have to do anything. They just work. And it's toolless adjustment as well. Lads, Fanatec have... I'm impressed. I'm impressed. So there we go. The Fanatec CSL Elite V2 pedals. Lads, I am just... I, I'm pretty... I'm still pretty speechless, to be honest. Um... I get a lot of a lot of pedals pass through here and they are nice they're damn good if somebody especially someone who's on a budget but even someone who can afford better you know I would I would probably say try those pedals first before you spend too much money um I yeah I, I I'm I'm struggling to find the words uh very very good pedal set like really really good I I I, I I'm really struggling to find and and the things that are making me struggle here, right, are um, I have a perspective and a kind of a hierarchy of where pedals sit. 
And that's my own opinion. And I tried to slot pedals in between them. Now, often that corresponds to how expensive those pedals are and all that kind of stuff. Now, there are exceptions to that, like, for instance, the Simforge uh, that it punches way, way above its weight. Uh, this set of pedals, CSL Elite V2s, is definitely one of those sets of pedals because it comes close to a lot of... I mean, I would expect, like, if, if, we're, if we're going just off pricing, you know, 450 400 450 euro i'd be like yeah that's still a good price because they're, they're a good pedal set the clutch could be heavier it could have a simulated pipe that would be nice the throttle has a great weight the brake is exceptional with lots of adjustability and you get the elastomers with it extra spring as well um it's, it's not and it's toolless adjustment beautiful materials and versatile in that you can change the um, spacing between the pedals you can even take them off completely if you wanted to. Like, I don't know. I am, I'm sold and I am converted, I think, to uh, CSL Elite pedal. V2 pedals, absolutely class. Um, I don't hesitate in recommending them. Uh, there's a product link in the description below for all the various Fanatec sites. If you use that link, that's an affiliate link. Um, I do make a commission off those. If you don't want to give me a commission, just go straight to their website um, and that's all good. Thank you very much for, uh, for watching this surprising unboxing. Um, I'm going to have to go and reflect on this. And I'm, do you know what? I'm going to have to take a few hours before I upload this video. Just in case I need to sit back in the rig and say, Did I re was, it really, was it really good? <laughs> yeah, this rarely happens. Rarely happens. Uh, I'm Lawrence. I stream every Tuesday and Thursday. Thank you so much for watching. and. I will be doing a long-term review of these pedals as well. So keep an eye on the channel. A couple of weeks time, I'm going to use these in my competition racing because that's where it really matters. Sitting in the rig, getting first impressions, that's all good. You don't know a set of pedals until you need those extra tents on track, until you need to get that podium position. So keep an eye on the channel. I'm Lawrence. Catch you later.